Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. She sent the first man to the moon. And the story of how she and her colleagues overcame racial and gender adversity and later went on to contribute to some of the most historic scientific feats in U.S. history is being documented in the film Hidden Figures. And so my connection with it is uh, one of the characters in the movie is actually a depiction of my great-grandmother Katherine Johnson. Growing up with her, she always told me, you know, she was a scientist, but she never really got into detail as to what she did exactly. She was just like, oh, I did math for NASA. University of Guam student Trevor Boykin said it wasn't until years later that he realized his great-grandmother was a physicist and mathematician who worked on missions including the Apollo 11 flight to the moon, the space shuttle program, and even early plans for the mission to Mars. How they did it is they'd have human computer rooms where they would have rooms just filled with women that would sit there and do math all day. And so she excelled at her work in such a marvelous way that she was actually handpicked to be put onto theoretical physics and basically develop mathematics that didn't even exist. But more than just a math whiz, Johnson grew up at a time when African Americans battled segregation. She overcame these obstacles, eventually becoming the first African American woman to desegregate the University of West Virginia Graduate School. It's everything that was leading up to NASA. That's what makes her the big deal. Yeah, her work at NASA is the groundbreaking stuff, but it's really the story behind how she got there and how she overcame all these adversities that were thrown at her. And Boykin is following in her footsteps, studying biology at UOG, where he hopes to eventually work in marine biology. Until then, he's organizing a special screening of the movie on January 7th at 10 a.m., with hopes its proceeds will help another young scientist succeed. And so basically, uh, how I'm trying to push for it to be is geared towards minority students and basically giving a minority student that opportunity to pursue their higher education because I'm pretty sure that is exactly what my great-grandmother would want me to do. You can buy tickets for the special screening or simply donate to the scholarship fund online at supportuog.org. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Issa Baza. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.